Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean a contaminated mushroom culture. I was testing some liquid culture on agar and this orange bacteria started growing right away and then the mycelium would grow over top of it. In order to save this culture, we're going to select a section that we think is going to be clean and transfer it to a water agar plate. The water agar doesn't have any nutrients in it, so the bacteria will not grow, but the mycelium will. I use a sterile scalpel to transfer a piece from the cleanest section I can find over to the water agar plate. The water agar plate is wrapped in parafilm and allowed to grow for one week at around 75 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. After about one week of growing, you can see the thin mycelium on the water agar plate. We can no longer see any orange bacteria, so that's a good sign. The next step is to transfer some of the thin mycelium over to a nutrient agar plate. There will be a link in the description to a video of how to make your own agar plates. Here I used a flame sterilized scalpel to transfer some of the thin mycelium over to the nutrient agar plate. The nutrient agar plate is wrapped in parafilm and allowed to grow at 75 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit for one to two weeks. After about one week of growth, you can already see that the mycelium is much more aggressive on the nutrient agar plate. And that's all there is to it. The mushroom culture has been cleaned and there's no more orange bacteria. From here you can transfer the mycelium to liquid culture for expansion or you can propagate it more on agar plates. I hope this video helps you save a contaminated mushroom culture. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.